In the South, we call it fried red snapper. In Puerto Rico, chillo frito. Doesn't matter, same approach, natural ingredients, delicious, and I'm going to show you how to make it so you can make it too. No fancy tools or cooking uh, tools. And remember, if I can cook it, so can you. So go nowhere. Let's create. So what I have here is a red snapper. In Puerto Rico, we call it chillo. I also have a... Uh, in a pilon, which is what you smashed off, I have some garlic. I'm going to add some sea salt. And I'm going to add some coriander in powder. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to smash that baby. But this is what I'm going to do with the chillo or the red snapper. I'm going to stab it a little bit. This baby is clean, by the way. I took, you know, this is out. It doesn't have any scales. And the reason you do this stabbing with a sharp knife is because you want some ingredients here in the baby, and you do both sides, by the way, carefully. Yeah, I like this tap to be a little bit deep, by the way, because I want that baby. See? So I smash this stuff. Ooh, smelling good. Smelling good. And what I'm going to do with some of this garlic and stuff, I'm going to put it inside, inside this baby. Give it that flavor to put inside. And then what I'm going to do, get to grab some salt. And that's all you need. You need all you need is salt. You make sure this baby has some. You might put some of the garlic in between those uh, stabs too. You know, in, in between, so the flavor's there. Put the salt. Turn it around, put some of the garlic in between. You don't need a lot. Some of the salt. So you need salt, you don't need anything else. A little bit of salt and garlic. See how I put it in between. And now what you're going to do you get one of those all-purpose um, flour. And you can get some paprika, like the smoke type. To give that a little bit of color. I like to go natural. I don't like that sazon, crazy stuff. I don't like... Uh, that adobo from the can, you make your own flavors. And you keep it healthy. You're going to get this baby and you make sure this baby. And when you do it, grab it like this so the garlic doesn't escape. See? Put in the camera. And what this flour is going to do is going to give them that crunchiness. Like that island crunchiness. Huh? You have it ready. So I'm going to go with the cast iron. I have some vegetable oil. You can use any type of oil. Medium high, the heat. Because, and I let it uh, heat off for about three minutes because I want the heat to distribute. Um, one thing, I intentionally grab 
a not too large cast item because I want to show you what happens if you cannot fit things perfectly. That's intentional. I do have bigger uh, uh, pants, you know. Another thing, I'm going to cook some plantains, you know, some green plantains. I'm going to use the same grease. Well, let me take care of this. Let me start cooking this baby. So you start frying this baby. And you notice the tail is now all the way in. So when you fry at the end, what you're going to do, you're going to make sure that tail is fried a little bit. You have to make sure it's fried well, you know. Add up about four minutes, so I'm going to turn that around. Isn't that a beauty? Maximizing the price by adding those plantains because I'm going to do some tostones. I do have a video, I have to prepare tostones. You can check that one out in my link in the description. After about four minutes or so. See how beautiful. So what you're going to do, you move it forward a little bit to get that tail for a couple minutes. And then you take it out and let it rest. 